हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ओम्स लॉ ओम्स लॉ स्टेट्स दैट द करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस द सर्किट एंड इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द सर्किट प्रोवाइडेड the temperature remains constant ohm's law states that the current flowing through the electric circuit is directly proportional to the potential difference across the circuit and inversely proportional to the resistance of the circuit provided the temperature should remain constant so current flowing through electric circuit is directly proportional to the voltage and it is inversely proportional to the resistance of the electric circuit the condition is the temperature should remain constant if we consider a simple electric circuit where potential v is applied and current i is flowing through the circuit with resistance r from ohm's law we can state that the current flowing through the circuit is directly proportional to the potential difference or voltage and it is inversely proportional to the resistance of the circuit we can write this equation as i is equal to v by r from this we can write the expression for voltage we can write v is equal to i into r and also we can write the expression for resistance we can write it as r is equal to v by i ohm's law can also be stated as voltage across the conducting material is directly proportional to current flowing through the conducting material ohm's law can also be stated as voltage across the conducting material is directly proportional to the current flowing through the conducting material which means v is directly proportional to i so from this we can write v is equal to i into r so the voltage is directly proportional to the current flowing through the conducting material there are few limitations of ohm's law the first limitation is it is not applicable for non linear devices since ohm's law is applicable only for linear devices it is not applicable for non linear devices so non linear devices like diode and zener diode etc ohm's law does not holds good for non metallic conductors such as silicon carbide for non metallic conductors we can write the expression as v is equal to k into i to the power of m so this is the relation between voltage and current for a non metallic conductors here k and m are constants here we need to note that the voltage and resistance across a short circuit will be equal to zero and the resistance of open circuit will be equal to infinity and current of an open circuit will be equal to zero here you need to remember that voltage and resistance of a short circuit will be equal to zero and resistance of an open circuit is infinity and current of an open circuit will be equal to zero this is about ohm's law hope you have understood the topic thank you